Hey folks, Brendan here from your Blue Light Facebook group. How are you all doing this evening? I'm going on live for you to help share some words of wisdom that have uh, cropped up as a result of some one-to-one -one coaching I've done today, helping people to prepare for their final interview. So if you're watching this live, fantastic, great to have you on board. If you're watching this on the replay, then check the links below to all the different services I allude to. And a big thank you to all of you who've been giving me such amazing Trustpilot reviews. We've still got a solid five-star block, uh, over 500 genuine from real people reviews. Just look at the reviews from other services. They're not from real people, are they? <laughs> um, anyway, awesome to have those reviews. Thank you so much for them and, and check the links below to the Trustpilot site. Hopefully, you'll be passing everything and you will be leaving an awesome review as well. So um, in the one-to-one -one coaching today, um, it, it cropped up with two of my clients and what cropped up was their focus on this document to, to the detriment of everything else, the competency and values framework for policing. And what they, they seem to be under this misapprehension, despite the fact that they're on my online course and I tell people, just don't do this, um, that they need to have an answer for each one of the values and each one of the competencies um, so that they can succeed in understanding things like this, the good old fashioned uh, wheel of confusion there. So it, it, in having an answer for each one of them and trying to remember all of the behaviours, because it's also been told and some forced workshop that you need to learn all the behaviors and demonstrate all the behaviors in each one of your answers. Look, no one, no one can learn all of this <laughs> for each one of them. I work with this stuff every day. I've got masters in education where I focused on personnel evaluation systems and standards, this kind of stuff. I was on the standards and qualifications steering group, the national one working with what is now college of policing and what is now skills for justice for two years, developing standards and suite, a suite of qualifications for the police service. I've got all of that experience and I've been doing this now for 28 years, helping people just like you succeed in promotion boards, specialist interviews, a recruitment process. I don't understand half of this. I'll tell you what I mean by that. So uh, what really confused my client today was when I asked him, so please can you tell me about a time when you've made a difficult decision where you've had to um, account for that decision to others. And his first question to me was, well, which one of the competencies is that from? The thing is, it's from quite a few of them. <laughs> I know, confusing. Because if you look at the value of impartiality, you see that decision-making is mentioned there in the behaviours. If you look at the value of integrity, you'll see that the um, decision-making is a is implicit it's it's actually they don't actually mention the d word but if you are dealing with a challenging and difficult situation and having to do the right thing then you're making a difficult decision it's also mentioned in the value of transparency so which one of the values is decision making from and actually when did decision making start becoming a value how many times have you ever heard of people talking about a value, the value of decision making? No, I don't get it neither. And just to confuse things even more, it's in the competency of we analyse critically. The competencies have three levels and the values only have one. I know, really confusing now, really confusing. So what do we do instead? We, we stop focusing so much on these competencies and these values that no one really understands. I know this because I work with hundreds of people looking to get promoted. Hundreds. Seriously, it's hundreds. Um, there's hundreds of people in the Facebook group that I've got, the Enforced Advancement Group, and I work with them every week. Same webinars, same type of webinars I run for the Online Assessment Centre for the final interview. I also run weekly webinars for people who are going for promotion people all the way up to the rank of chief inspector who do these recruit interviews and they don't understand the CVF. No one really understands it. So let's bin the CVF and just 
use a bank of experiences that we can utilize to dip into and use those experiences to answer the questions in a really structured way, adding detail, authenticity, and some kind of emotional connect. So the sort of scenarios that you should have in your life to be able to answer just about anything they ask you. This is only for please can you tell me about a time when type questions, rear facing questions. There's so many other types of questions that can be asked as well. Forward facing questions, scenario based questions, values, motivation, impact, challenges. There's so many different types of questions that can be asked. So I'm just really focusing here on the tell me about a time when. So it helps in my bank of experiences and I go, I'll go into this, I go into this in far more depth in the webinars, far more depth in the one to ones. This is why I invite you to join those webinars, join those online courses, join the one to ones. Check the links below for those services because I guarantee you'll succeed. And I really do guarantee you'll succeed. If you do not succeed, I will give you a refund. Or if you sign up for one of those services and, and if within 24 hours you think it's not for you, I'll give you a full refund. There's no questions asked. No questions asked. I'm that convinced that my services will work for you. 28 years worth of experience convinces me that this will work. And I'll let you into a secret. I only gave out two refunds last year. So it's an absolute no brainer. It really is. So what we're going to do, we're going to have some kind of scenario in our bank of experiences where we've had to deal with a conflict situation. Now, I don't mean people fighting. I mean, people disagreeing with you or people disagreeing with each other and you've helped find some mediated compromise solution. Uh, we're going to have examples of difficult decisions. We're going to have examples where you work with others to solve a problem. Examples where you've taken responsibility for a problem. A time when you planned and prioritized around a problem or a difficult task. A time when you've demonstrated integrity by challenging inappropriate behavior, doing the right thing. A time when you've supported change or been part of change. A time when you've learned from an experience or you've been given feedback and it wasn't what you were hoping for. A time when you've supported th someone through a difficult situation. A time when you've changed the style of communication to meet needs of others. And a time when you've delivered an awesome, brilliant service. Now, if you've got in your bank of experiences, times when you've done all of those things and on the courses, we go into far more detail about what you need to include, the sort of things that you should be thinking of, focusing on to make sure that you deliver an awesome, awesome answer. But if you just use those as the foundation, then you are going to have no problem with that side of the final interview. I'm not going to say, you know, there's all the other stuff that I talked about before, all the different types of questions that are emerging now, especially forward facing questions. And yes, we've got a structure to deal with that as well. And yes, it's an awesome structure. And yes, it gets you a pass. So there you go, folks, a, a bank of experiences. Been the CVF, it's not going to help you. Trust me, when you use the models and structures that I advocate for answering questions around those sort of scenarios, you will demonstrate all the behaviours. I promise you, I do more than promise you, I guarantee it. Because if you don't, you don't pass, you get your money back. All right, hopefully that makes sense, folks. If anyone's got any questions, because I am going live, remember, please do ask. And let's do some shout outs to people. Wow, there's so many of you. I'm not going to be able to shout out to all of you. We've got Abby, we've got Laura, we've got Danielle, we've got Amelia, we've got Leo, we've got Carla, Stokesy, Millie, we've got May, we've got Christina, we've got Albie, we've got John, Stephen, Simon, Maddie, Emily, Toto, we've got Alexander, we've got Nelly, and we've got Thomas. Oh, Thomas, I've got your message, by the way. I'll uh, drop you a line, I'll drop you a line. So um, for all of you, thank you, thank you for tuning in on this Facebook Live um, inside the Blue Light Facebook group. And if you're watching this on the replay, check the links below to the Facebook group. Come and join over 22,000 people in this amazing group. All the services, check the link below. Trustpilot reviews, thank you so much to those of you who have delivered Trustpilot reviews. Awesome Trustpilot reviews, thank you so much. And please do like and subscribe if you're watching this on the replay. I'll catch up with you very soon, folks. Take care. Bye-bye for now.